Righteous Matt Light is a stand-up comedian who claims that the defendant tricked him into approving t-shirt designs that had shocking secret images. He's suing for $5,000 to cover design fees and the cost of the shirts that he can't sell. Defendant Brandon Lombardo says everyone knows that when you hire him to design something, there are going to be things hidden in the artwork. Matt, you are suing Brandon because you paid him $5,000 for him to design some t-shirts for you and you are unhappy and you want your money back. That is correct. Okay, go ahead. So I had a previous working relationship with Brandon. Yes. He does a lot of graphic designing. Yes. Uh, so I hired him to do merchandise for me. Uh, yes. I'm a stand-up comedian, oh, okay. and I like to bring merchandise on the road with me. Sure. So I hired him to do 500. Uh, he did three designs for me for $500, and then I had to do all of my shirts. So I made uh, 900 shirts. Anyways, $4,500 cost $5,000 total. Totally. He made shirts that I was not happy about. He did a little bit extra uh, on these shirts. What do you mean he did extra on the shirts? He thought it would be funny to hide penises on my merchandise. A timeout. That's not funny, like. <laughs> what do you mean he hit him? Oh, you mean the drawing? Yeah, not yeah. mine. It's like he, yeah. there was drawings of penises hidden throughout oh, this. Oh, in the drawings. In there the was, drawings. always was a. Yes. Do we have a copy of? I, I actually have a text message uh, from a mother of a little girl who I work with at a church youth group that oh. wore the shirt to school and got kicked out for wearing this shirt. There's her hoarding my merchandise. She said, just yeah, so you know, uh, my daughter was sent home from school today because of your stupid shirt. And I said, LOL, why? Uh, she goes, because there's a in the water. And I said, what? Oh my god. She goes, yeah, thanks for that one. So You can't see it. You, well, yeah, it's 10 feet away from me, but you can, it's below my belt line. Uh, that's it's normally darker where blue. it would be, yeah. Yeah, but that's just a picture, dude. That could be photoshopped, like... Then why is it right here? Literally right there. Yeah, and you had no idea it was in there. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> hey, Najee, you're going to earn your stripes today. Oh, man. Uh, point out where it is, because it's hard to see. <laughs> it's right there where it should be, Judge. Yeah, that's where it should be. Or yeah. should it be. Yeah. Yeah. Actually... Uh, well, that shirt must have been out in... It, it must have been cold. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, you must have worn that shirt out What was cool that day. Cold. Did you get to approve these shirts? Yeah, so I got to approve these shirts, but if you look at an email I have on my Exhibit A, yeah. so uh, he says, hey, just wanted to shoot these over for your approval. Uh, all of these are all designed without private parts. Uh, this castle above there, uh, that was just a regular door in the photo that I have. Uh, and now oh. there's another pee pee. Just that's, that's a door. It's obviously that's a door. not a door. That's a I, door. Uh, that's a castle with a door. It's really not. Well, there, there it is as well. Um, that was supposed to be a stripe, and um, yeah. it's a number eight, obviously. Just eight. Hammer yeah. time. Just eight. you know. That's, that's an eight. That's not. Why would there be an eight there? So you're saying, and, and on this one, it's clear where it is here. So I got a little extra. And uh, I want my money back. I don't know what to do with all of these shirts. What do you do with... Oh, because people... Well, obviously, that mother can It's a problem, yeah. Like, yeah. my church youth group, I can't even go there anymore because I'm penis guy. Oh. Yeah, that happened before the shirts, though. Okay, what about that? What about that is he approved all these designs. He knew exactly what was happening, and he knows that this is something I do. I hide things in my shirt designs. You didn't tell him it was in there. No, but he had the proofs. Well, yeah, but if, if you try to hide them, someone else might notice. This is a thing I do. I'm known for this. It's so if you're known for it, why don't you show me it? Well, show I... me the penises, and then I would be like, no, I want that or I don't want that. I don't want them. Well, you found them. Yeah, I found them after $5,000. Yeah, but you now have great shirts. How are you known for this? Because I confess, I didn't know you for that. All of my clients in the Pittsburgh area, they know that this is what I do. Nobody yeah. knows you, dude. You make money off of me. You approved These are my them. merch. I did yeah, not approve these. In them. fact, here's a tweet that he sent uh, five months after I got my shirt. Sometimes I hide. Uh, it's Exhibit D. Sometimes wait, wait, I. Let me see it. Exhibit D. Yeah. Okay. What a coincidence. This is your tweet. <laughs> Sometimes I hide in the designs I make for people I don't like. So you don't like me then? The point is not whether or not I. But the point is, you admit that you sometimes hide it. And you say, hide it. You don't say, it's right out there. Why did you do that? It's kind of like my John Hancock, Your Honor. 
He's good. I've, He's I've heard it called good. many things, but. This guy's good. I was hired to do the work, I but I did. It. He's suing you for $5,000. He wants his money back. You admit when you say, I hide these with clients you don't like, you admit that you're trying to deceive him. Because you are trying to deceive him, he bought those or approved those under false pretenses. If you are hiding something and getting someone to approve a sale and pay you money, that, that's fraud. Does he go to jail? So, well, uh, this is a civil suit, and therefore I do find for the plaintiff in the sum of $5,000. I, I feel like what I did wasn't fraudulent. I'm known for doing this. I'm a That's what I do. I'm known for it. And honestly, I feel like this whole thing ended a bit prematurely. And quite frankly, I feel like I got shafted. I'm glad I got what I wanted. I deserve this. I uh, Hopefully, people don't chant penis guy in my shows anymore. Plaintiff Aisha Perez claims she planned a girls' weekend with the defendant to get over a breakup. Instead, it turned into a lonely getaway when her friend bailed in her time of need. She's suing for $769 in trip expenses. Defendant Melanie Guzman claims the plaintiff was a real bummer on the trip, and she just wanted to have some fun in the Poconos. Aisha, you are suing your former friend Melanie for $769 for unpaid trip expenses to the Poconos for a girl's trip. Yeah, so Your Honor, I'm suing Melanie over here for a girl's trip that she invited me on. Yeah. Um, and I ended up paying the entire trip for it. So oh. around the time, it was around Christmas, um, yeah. I recently had broken up with my boyfriend. Um, Your Honor, he ended up cheating on me. And Melanie was the first person that I confided in because she was somebody that I trusted. I knew her since we were seven years old. I was oh. like, I can't believe this happened to me. And she was like, you know what? You need some time to get away. Like, let's go on a girl's trip. And she was like, I'll bring my friend along. Like, I'm inviting you to it. Like, this trip is for you. So we end up, like, um, planning the trip. I pay for the hotel, as you can see with evidence A and B. I paid for the hotel. I put the down payment first on Expedia. And then when we got there, that 704, um, I dished out. And she could have paid when we were there, but she decided not to. She didn't even offer. Um, and her whole excuse this time was that, oh, I get paid bi-weekly, so I don't have the money right now. Your Honor, that's not true. I was the one who drove, because none of them had licenses, so I offered to drive. Sure. I paid for the car, as you can see on uh, evidence A and B. This is the receipt of the itinerary, as well as the receipt for the car. $421.08. Yes, correct. Yeah, so I it. paid for the car. I drove about five hours. We stopped for gas about three times. I paid for that gas. The whole time on the ride, she was playing Adele, being miserable. All right, but and you told me I could be okay, on Okay, you're going to let me speak, uh, oh. because I let you speak, right? <laughs> So, but you told me I could be on Ox, though. It doesn't okay. matter. What you it doesn't okay. matter. Let's, it doesn't matter right. because right. I... The case isn't going to be decided by Adele. Like I was saying before, I paid for everything, and she was playing Adele the entire time. And I had apologized on behalf of my friend because my friend wanted to have a good time, and she's just sulking and just bringing a negative energy to the trip. And so when we got there, we decided to go get groceries. Um, since we were in a place where like it's not a typical hotel like you get to cook for yourself um, And so I went and ended up we went to the grocery store and I said hey Like are you guys fine if we all just get what we want put it in the cart and collectively we share the money Everybody agreed nobody had an objection when we were done I we were getting ready to pay and we were at Walmart So it's like a self-checkout and nobody offered to put their card down even Melanie came up to me She's like, you know, I still haven't gotten paid yet. Can you pay for it? Her friend paid me the half back um, once we got back to where we were staying, and Melanie still had not paid me back. In regards to the food that she was talking about, um, I never uh, ate any of that food. I was the one going out and eating out. She mostly bought food for herself. So when we went to Walmart, she was she. I felt bad. I didn't want to say anything because of everything she was going through. So she just. All right, but but can I finish? Ma'am, let her finish. Let the her, thing let her that... finish, ma'am. You're you're not okay. talking. It's her turn. Anyway, she's a really picky eater, so she bought like specific stuff for herself. So I didn't even touch it. So I was still like distraught from everything that had happened before and what led up to us having this trip. That I was like, I don't want to make a big deal out of something that shouldn't be something yet. Because since I knew her for so long, I was like, there's no way she wouldn't pay me back. 
this whole reason why she's suing me is because she just feels some type of way because I had fun and she didn't. You know, it's not my fault you can't get over your ex. Okay, what do you want to say? The couple days were fine and then we decide we want to go snowboarding. It was our first time, like we p picked the Poconos specifically because we were like, if we wanted to just relax and do, um, like just have a chill night, like we could just go snowboarding for the first time and have it be a nice experience. We went online and went to book the tickets. And again, she gave me the same excuse that she hadn't been paid yet. So she could not pay me for- well, By now you knew that she hadn't been paid yet. Right, so right. it would always be and the same answer. Yeah. It was weird because I'm like, okay, like you haven't been paid yet, but yet, you were like, don't worry about the car, like I'll pay for it, you had the money to pay for that. And then at the same time, it's like, well, if you knew you got paid bi-weekly, why don't you choose a week where you can afford to pay for this? So I was just like, you know what, like again, like I was like, I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. Let's just go have fun snowboarding. So we went snowboarding, whatever, kind of snowboard. I didn't really, it was not good for me. Um, I wanted to go out, wanted to have fun. I was like, let's go snowboarding. We went snowboarding and then I was like, let's go out for dinner. Let's, let's just enjoy ourselves and like get your mind off of your ex and just have fun together. And she was just being very negative, being very depressed and you know, just bringing the whole trip down. But uh, that later that night, she, we were all tired and she was like, okay, like guys, do you guys, do you just want to go out to eat? Because we were t really tired from the day and we didn't want to cook. I agreed, I thought it was a great um, thing to do. And you so wound up paying for the meal. Oh, no, 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 that, that wasn't the issue. <laughs> what ended up happening um, was that uh, we, we went out and then we met, she met some guys, like these guys came up to us and um, they wanted to like, you know, they ended up like paying for our meal, like they bought us drinks, whatever. Um, and she was like, oh, like, come on, stay out. And I told her like, our plans that night, we literally said once we got home that we were going to go out to eat and then come back. And I was gonna get to know her friend because again, she brought this friend that I didn't know. Um, and we were just gonna do like a movie night, like again, to get over the breakup that I just had. Um, and then, so she was like, basically saying that I was being a Debbie Downer, like why do I not want to party with her basically? And she was like, you know, like she dropped us off home and then she ended up going with those guys. And I was like, okay, you know what? Now the situation is serious because not only has she not paid me back, she also left to go do her other things. Ended up happening 10 a.m., me, me and her friend call her to see where she's at, doesn't respond. FaceTime her, nothing. Doesn't pick up to anything. Um, and those two days she was with those guys doing I don't know what, but she ended up coming later the day that we had to leave and the whole car ride, it was just silent. And like at this point right now, like I even when we came back, I asked her for the money. She still just didn't respond to me, didn't answer any of my texts, said that she didn't have, then she started the excuse that she didn't have to pay me because she paid for the car. Your Honor, she is painting me out to be this horrible person. That's not the case at all. Um, I just want to say in the beginning, I felt bad because of everything that happened with her ex. So I gave her the bigger room. I was like, hey, listen, you know, because I know my other friend better. I was like, you can have the other room and I'll sleep in this small little twin size bed with my other friend. So, you know, I was sleeping there for a couple of days, you know. So when we went out, we met a couple of guys, you know, they paid for our drinks, paid for our food, and they just wanted to get to know us, have some fun. So I was like, okay, let's go. And she didn't want to go. And I'm not going to force her to go because sure. that's, that's, messed up like I'm not, I'm yeah. not gonna do that so I was like alright if you don't want to go I'll drop you off and I'll go because I'm not gonna let you ruin my trip because yeah. I'm we're young I'm trying to live my best life you know yep. I don't want to get to know these guys so I went Yeah, but I was there okay, to heal. okay okay she, yeah. you're gonna let me finish because I let you talk right all right but I was okay, there to no, heal. Hey, go ahead. thank you so I went, I dropped her off I didn't even pressure her or force her at all to stay what would your argument be if she put up the money because you didn't have it at the time, you had enough for the car but not for the rest, why wouldn't you pay her back when the trip was over? The reason why I didn't pay her back and I don't owe her anything, I was eating out the entire time and then I was gone for two days. If I'm correct, she paid for the hotel costs, she paid for the ski and snowboard lessons, and she paid for the mini golf. So even if we don't talk about the Walmart groceries, she did pay for the hotel, the mini golf, the ski and snowboard lessons. Why wouldn't you pay your share for that? Your Honor, she never asked me for any of that money back. Like, I never asked her well, for the car or the gas. Okay, but you're not denying that now that she's asking for it back that you should pay your share. I don't feel like I should pay anything because Why? I wasn't there half the time. And again, I paid for you car and gas. You did do the ski and snowboard lessons. You did stay at the hotel. However, I never got my money for the car and gas. She's saying all this stuff about 
oh, like she doesn't owe me for this, doesn't owe me for that. But the thing was that the trip was for me. Like I was there to heal. That's and, not true, Your Honor, at all. What do you mean it's not true? It's you not literally true. planned the trip for me. We did not plan the trip for you. you it was a collective came group. And told me you were like, oh, like you've just. I suggested this it to you. I was like, I, we should we go, should go on, on a trip, trip together. This okay, trip you was not it. for that you. Not there was another person on the trip. So I don't okay. know what you're talking about. She stated that she wasn't having any fun in the trip, but I actually have video evidence of that statement being false. It's gonna be This good. is you having fun. Apparently, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> it's us snow tubing. And if she claims that she didn't have as much fun as she uh, said she did. Oh, that's cool. That is proven to be false. Oh, she is. So you're having fun. We were both having fun. Okay. Here's what I think is fair. Your Honor, may I say uh, something? Well, let, no, oh. right now I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I got the robe. <laughs> no, so, uh, so what I want to do is combine the expenses, because you did pay for the car, you did pay the gas, you did pay the tolls, you paid for the hotel, you paid for the mini golf, you paid for the snowboard. So rather than sitting here and thinking each penny, I'm going to say, you both paid for things, we're going to throw it into a pot, and we're going to split it. I'm sorry to say, I just don't think that's fair. On the trip, I'm paying for everything, and- No, you're not, I, I agree. You're not gonna pay for anything. You're gonna get something back. Easy, it'll be good. <laughs> you're gonna go home and say, oh, that Judge Jerry was so fair. <laughs> yeah. And you are too. So here, let everyone calm down. Now, she's suing you for $769. I am subtracting from that what she's asking. But your honor- that her, I, You're I, listening. You stop no one is I'm not gonna change my mind, so. I just want to say that I her, know you her just president didn't have say, to pay I for the don't, car, but okay. now I have to pay Stop for the car. Stop speaking, man. You should be I'm listening. I'm only charging you one-third for the cost of the car, because you were one of three people on right, it. Right, You her, will pay her, no... Her, stop it! Or you'll get nothing. You car. will get nothing okay. if you open your mouth again. Just stop. Learn to respect when you're in the court. It's not always going to be a decision you want. You don't go through life getting everything you want. So therefore, I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $616. I think it's sad, honestly, because we kind of just lost our friendship over this. I do not see myself continuing my friendship with Aisha at all. Um, the fact that it had to be this far um, and for her to take me to court over something so minuscule.